Now behave yourselves, you two, because your babies will be ugly. So welcome back to the channel. A uh, bit of a change from the R1200C, which I still have, by the way. Ambrosia still in the garage, but I've now uh, added uh, the 1250 GSA to the stable, and uh, hopefully to get more rides on the on this bike too. I'll probably start another channel for this as well. So just to give the two kind of riding styles and the kind of rides I go to uh, separately. I hope to go more uh, overnight type of trips on this GSA, while the uh, 1250C will be pottering around as I have been in the neighbourhood, visiting different sites and uh, places of interest and uh, on really good nice sunny days. So why did I buy a GSA? Well it's been on my list for easily two or three years, as one day I will get one. And uh, basically the arrival of the uh, GS1300 kind of made my decision that the 1300, after waiting for it for over a year, um, just wasn't for me. You know, that this, uh, the 1250 is, uh, is really what I piqued my interest and uh, you know, I was looking out for and the, the size of it, the, the way it stands. And uh, the new 1300, yes, absolutely ultra modern, fits in with all the other adventure bikes that are out there now. But to me, you know, that, that uniqueness, you know, is uh, in the look and its presence is uh, is no longer there. To go on pottering about on the uh, on the custom 1250C and uh, going on for again, it's still pot around on the on the GSA for sure. It's a different kind of rides. I'm not going to go over all the features of a 1250 GSA. It's been done to death. But the things that were on my mind that I wonder if there was any truth to it, to the 1001 YouTube videos that I've watched and people saying the likes and dislikes and you know, the things that doesn't work very well, things that do work very well. Well, me it was the, yeah, the quick shifter seems to be the thing that, uh, seems, seems to be the thing that uh, quite often gets brought up. And certainly we're taking this out for a test ride. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, I'm coming from a 1250C. You had to kick it to get it into gears. And a real clunky gearbox. So I'm coming from there. So for me, this gearbox and this quick shifter is an absolute dream. So yeah, absolutely. From first to second, I use the clutch. It can, it can kick it in, but uh, what, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, going up? Yeah, depends how the mood takes me. I'll use the quick shift. Well, I'm used to using the clutch, so sometimes I use the clutch and sometimes I use the quick shift. Going down, yeah, I'll probably down to fourth, I'll probably use the quick shift. And after that, I tend to use the clutch. I'm not saying absolutely 100% of the time that I do that. But again, it's a, it's a big leap forward for me in the BMW gearbox world from the 1250C which gives a nice good reassuring clunk when you go into first and you have to yank practically your whole foot up to get it into second you know and it's a uh, well, that's lovely that's character as they say so yeah so the quick shifter was the one thing that on my mind that I thought mm, I wonder uh, so to me absolutely not an issue but the other one was the height. I'm not saying I'm particularly short of 5'9", 5'10". Uh, but when I got on the uh, the full height, normal height, uh, bike, uh, yeah, I was tiptoeing a bit, ball of the foot. So I thought, well, I don't fancy uh, with a pillion on the back, fully loaded up, trying to balance the whole thing on tiptoes and ball, you know. So I went for the uh, factory lowered one, where this one came up. And I've got the lowest, uh, lower seat on there. And absolutely, I'm confidently flat-footed now. 
I can kick the bike and wiggle it about from side to side and I know I've got it. I haven't got like an extra inch or two of uh, foot to go down to the floor before I get you know, good full control of the bike. So that definitely was a thing that I knew I needed to uh, get the factory lowered one. And the suspension's also set on low. So a lot more confidence, you know, that, uh, to be able to come to a stop and come to compare this, the ride on here to my 1250C. I mean, totally different. The feet positions are absolutely in a different place. And the GSA, they're sort of just below me. Well, on the 1250CC, they're in front. And I'm leaning over towards the handlebars here, while on the 1250CC, the handlebars come back. But yeah, I've bought some uh, Wunderlich uh, risers for this, which I'll be making another video for fitting all the various bits and pieces that I have bought. So, by all means, do uh, so subscribe and let you uh, catch up with uh, yet another video of somebody adding bits and pieces to their GS, GSA. So yeah, no, the right sitting positions is uh, yeah, yeah, quite different between the two. And I found, yeah, getting onto this now, after 25 years of sitting upright with my feet in front of me, it's fairly natural. No issues. I'm having more issue with having a fairing at the front here and the console that stays put and, and only the handlebars changing. I found that bit more disorientating than anything. But the 1250C, the whole headlight and everything moves with the steering. So what I tend to do is uh, look where I'm going, not, don't look at this. I don't know, after an hour or so it's, it's become second nature, I don't really bother about it. And it's more noticeable when I'm manoeuvring it in and out of the garage and I'm turning the, the handlebars to uh, get to face uh, the way out. That's when I notice this not moving more than the handlebars moving. But it's only something that just catches my eye, it's not a thing to worry about. I mean, I've got nothing on the uh, 1250C. Tell a lever and a spring on the back. And that's, that's it. There's no smarts in it. So this is uh, absolutely the most comfortable between the two. And it feels like it's just gliding. if you're hearing all this blustery wind it is a bit windy today yeah so on the way back from uh, Stormo and Alton tried the uh, cruise control on the M3 motorway and yeah that was nice so sort of having to uh, throttle the throttle all the time you can actually give your, the palm of your hand and your wrist a bit of a rest. Did I wish I had the uh, radar, the adaptive uh, distance control thing? No, never had it. So, nothing to miss. Yeah, I was thinking of all the, the new extras on the 1300. Would I miss those? Would I really, you know, regret not getting 1300 for the extra toys? So the radars back and front. Mm, I thought about it a lot and long, but no. It's not something I, w I wish I had. The blind spot uh, indicator in the mirror. I mean, yeah, that, that could be nice. But again, I'm always a look over your shoulder kind of rider. You know, the old lifesaver. So I never had it. Not going to miss it. Yeah, the extra performance. Yeah, it'd be nice. But there's plenty, plenty, plenty in the in the GS range and the in the torque, particularly lovely, plenty. So I'm saying I'm not a. 
a speed demon or anything like that. This is plenty of acceleration. The torque is lovely. The ride is smooth, silky smooth in comparison to my 1200. C by the way, my, my custom. The James Bond bike. Rosia. I could never part with that bike. Every time I sit on it, I get the same grin I had when I first sat on it. Back in the days of SPC in Alton, before Barnstormer. 25 years ago. Riding bikes is about the pleasure of all bikes, isn't it, really? I mean, I love the triumphs on the Royal Enfields that I see here and there. You know, lovely sound. And uh, even sometimes there's some really lovely scooters. You know, they look like fun. And now it's adventure bikes. Harleys, yeah, absolutely. So much of the uh, the sports bike as such they tend to look much the same to me one to the other. But I do appreciate that they're they're great fun too. So there, yeah, my feet are flat on the ground. those big silver panniers on the back, I don't really feel them. Maybe it's because they were there from the beginning uh, all the time, so uh, I don't know any difference. Maybe I should ride them with them off. I'll probably do that, just to see how different it is. So I've just got on the bike with the morning and just got used to it.